Hey, welcome back to the video. Today we are talking about a brand new Premiere Pro feature. It's the automatic masking feature or rotoscoping. So if you want to draw around a subject, maybe put text behind you, color grade just certain aspects of a video, no longer do you have to go frame by frame and draw around every single piece of an object in a video. You can now do it automatically. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to use it. Oh, and before we jump into this, depending on when you're watching this video, you may need the beta version of Premiere Pro. If you're watching this a few weeks later, it may already be out in the uh, regular version of Premiere Pro, but just check before you follow my tutorial. So right away, get your shot like this, where you have an object that you want to mask. If you go into your toolbar, in the side here, you'll see a new tool called Object Mask Tool. Now, select the object you want to mask, and all you have to do is hover over it like this, and it will automatically select it. It's that quick. You can also draw with the lasso tool that you can find just below the shot here, or use the rectangle. Now, when you have it selected, go into your effects controls here, and just click the track mask forward and backwards, and this will track the object for you. And you can also click other object mask to mask out more than one thing. As you can see, the new update for Premiere Pro is super fast, which is a massive update. Now you have the mask tracked, there are endless possibilities you can do with this. So I'll show you just a few quick things you can do with this, including a popular technique for putting text behind your object. So here you see it says unsigned mask in the effects controls. So at the moment, you can't do anything with the mask. If you wanted to get rid of the back, drag this to the opacity section. And now you've got rid of the background. So no longer will you need a green screen. You could now get another clip and then place this above and now you have this cool green screen effect. You can play around with the feathering and mask expansion to get it looking smoother. You can also add effects to the mask, which again means you have endless cool things you can do with this. For example, if you wanted the background black and white and the subject in color. Drag your mask back into unassigned mask and now search for the Lumetri color effect and drag it onto your clip. Now just turn the saturation down and click inverted here. Now your background is in black and white and your subject in color. Looks pretty good. Now, before we talk more about the Premiere Pro features, let me tell you about these cinematic LUTs from Editor's Keys. These are gonna transform your footage. So if you've been looking at ways you can improve your video, maybe you want to go for a cinematic or a vintage look. These LUTs are gonna give you that look with just a drag and drop into Premiere. Simply color correct any footage that you have from any camera in Premiere and drag and drop one of these LUTs on and you can see how effectively these transform the look of your footage. To grab these LUTs, check out the link in or around this video. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, back to the video. Next, we'll do the classic text behind an object effect. So let's jump into it. Type out your text, drag your mask to the opacity section and disable the Lumetri color mask. Turn off inverted and now duplicate your layer so the text layer is in between your masked layers. And then delete the unsigned mask on the bottom layer. And now you have the text behind the subject. You can add a Gaussian blur to blur out your background so your subject is more in focus or change the exposure so certain sections are brighter. The possibilities are truly endless. So there you go, that's a quick look at the new automatic object masking tool in Premiere Pro. I think it's pretty incredible, but more importantly, what are you gonna use it for? Well, let me know in the comments section below. And if you wanna see us do more tutorials on how to use it and various ways you could use this within your videos, let us know because we love to hear from you and we can create those tutorials for you. So thanks for watching. Make sure to give the channel a subscribe, give us a like, and I'll see you in the next video.